Hey everybody, welcome to the Series 3 finale, Finishing the Forbidden Forest. Welcome back everyone. Happy Monday to you. This is Dragonfly Sarah and I'm building JKR's Reaching World of Harry Potter and Minecraft. Today we're going to put in the Thestral Clearing, Waterways, Pathways, and all the trees of the Forbidden Forest to finish up Series 3. Let's jump on into the time lapse now. This is my very loved copy of Order of the Phoenix. And Chapter 21 reads, they walked for about 10 minutes until they reached a place where the trees stood so closely together that it was as dark as twilight and there was no snow on the ground at all. Hagrid deposited his half a cow with a grunt on the ground, stepped back, and turned to face his class again, most of whom were creeping toward him from tree to tree, peering around nervously as though expecting to be set upon at any moment. That's not a very descriptive description, is it? Chapter 21, Grop. It so reads, The path was becoming increasingly overgrown and the trees grew so closely together as they walked further and further into the forest that it was as dark as dusk. They were soon a long way past the clearing where Hagrid had shown them the Thestrals. Um, okay, so now instead of just a place with lots of trees very close together, it is considered a clearing. This is, yeah, less helpful. So, given these two very delightful pieces of information about the Thestral location, I put in a bunch of Minecraft trees that were just sort of random, all types. Then I put in um, some ground covering that made it um, more distinct from the surrounding ter terrain and filled in trees um, of the random variety that had nice big boughs. Um, I finally went back and truly covered up the sky so that snow would not fall and touch the ground. Theoretically, I didn't test it. The last thing that I did was try to hide the um, clearing from the dragon enclosure and vice versa. So, I mean, it sort of worked. Welcome to Hagrid's Hut and the tour of the Forbidden Forest. Most of our adventures in the Forbidden Forest inevitably end up starting at Hagrid's Hut. Ron and Harry leave from there with Fang to go to Aragog. Harry and Hermione with Hagrid to go to Grop. So that's where we're going to start. Notice this path we have going here. And we come to a fork in the road. If we go this way first, you'll see that we come to a clearing. Thestrals clearing. Now, I'm just gonna take a small detour here. Aha! There's a couple right here. These are the Thestrals. Skeletal horses. I know it's not perfect, but I did the best I could under the circumstances. Minecraft is a little limiting. So back here in the clearing again, we're going to head along to the path on the other side. Here it is. See? Clearing. Path. I know it's dark. It's supposed to be. And we continue along this path. Long past the clearing. And... We come to the end of the path, because if you'll remember, Hagrid stepped off the path to get them to Grop's clearing. 
If you're wondering why I'm doing this differently than I usually do, I decided that a first person tour of the forest would be more effective than a replay version. Um, so hopefully you enjoy the effort. Uh, the mods I'm using here is called Journey Map, uh, and it allows me to not get lost in the forest. Um, of course, if you don't have it, uh, you'll have to hunt your way through the forest the way that the adventurers did. So this is the clearing where Grop was restrained by Hagrid when he first arrived in the grounds of Hogwarts. And if we go south from here, off the path, we will discover that a couple hundred meters to the south is Aragog. Now, the Aragog clearing is nice and clear of underbrush um, because it has been rooted out by, well, everyone. And of course, there's this little cave system down here where you might find spider eggs and the like. If we head this direction <coughs> from Aragog, then we find that we come across well, the wall to the forest, to the grounds, but a couple hundred meters this direction, we're actually headed toward the path once again. Except this is a different path. Let's follow it. So now we're coming from Aragog. Now we found a path and it goes over some water and under some trees. You know, these paths are not terribly maneuverable. Um, they're not supposed to be. You'll have to beat your way through. They're just sort of to lead the way. And this path eventually comes to that fork. We went that way to get to the Thestral, so we would go that way to, excuse me, we would go that way to get to Aragog. If we go back out of the forest again, we end up at Hagrid's cabin. And instead of hanging around here, we're going to follow it north. We're going to follow the edge of the forest to the north. And when we come around the bend, um, we're going to see the paddock where we keep the, ready for it, hippogriffs. They're all named Hippogriff. This way they, A, won't despawn, and B, they're not horses anymore, they're Hippogriffs. Use your imagination, people. We have the champion tent here, and we have the med tent here. And if we go through here, we have the dragon enclosure with the Swedish short snout and blue-gray eggs and the Welsh green with brown and green eggs, the Chinese fireball with the red and gold eggs, and the Hungarian horn tail with the concrete gray eggs. The stands hold many hundreds of people and the judges are across the, from the entrance, draped in gold. If I fly up here, you'll see that my render distance is not sufficient to get a good view of the forest. If you'll bear with me here for just one second, I can actually go into my video settings and you'll see that I start with it at far. So let's go to extreme. And we're just not going to move. We're just going to stay very still and let it load extreme. And you'll hopefully see some of the massive size of this forest as it loads. 
Um, I'm going to have very little patience for this because it is going to kill my computer in eventually. Um, so, yep, the, this is about where it starts killing the computer. Um, but you can see that the forest, it just keeps going. And let's see if it'll let me set it back to far. There we go. Um, if I open journey map, you can see the size of the forest. Nice, big, big forest. Um, this will be the lake. You can see that the lake and the forest are about the same size. And that will be it for the tour of the Forbidden Forest. Hey everybody, check out that map of the completed forest over my shoulder. Isn't it awesome? Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and planetminecraft.com for an updated map, as well as checking in next week for the beginning of Series 4, The Great Lake.